Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone is having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Happy Father's Day to everyone out there. Let's all go have a good time. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 182, NASDAQ up 168, SPs up 20, gold contract trading down $13.30 at $18.36 an ounce. We had silver off uh, 32 cents, $21.65 an ounce, platinum down 20 bucks, 9.30 an ounce, light sweet crude off $8.51, $109.08 eight a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note. Up, 10, up 12 ticks, trading 116.06. The 30 up a full point, plus 8 ticks at 131.21. And King Dollar, look at this baby, man. King Dollar up uh, 173 ticks at 104.705. Euro right now at a price point of 104. Yen 134, uh, just about 135. And the British pound, 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you get a sideways market out here. So I expect what you're going to see. There's nothing going to be heavy like yesterday, folks. But more than likely, you're probably just going to turn red, slightly red. Because, see, what we had out here this morning. Oh, actually, hold on. Is that? Oh, here, one second. There's... Oh, that's yesterday. Right. Okay, cool. But that's what it's going after right now. Okay, so this is what you have. Yesterday, no, no, no. I got the wrong one up here. That's what's going. I knew I'm, I'm looking at this saying, no, this is not work. This is not where it's at because what had happened this morning is that we almost did an ABC structure down. And I suspect that's going to happen probably, oh, 39. One second. Hold it. This, if this broke it. No, I don't think it broke it. One second. 42, it did. Okay. So, what we have is this. We actually came down, what time was that? At 10.40 this morning. And we actually did break a B point, and you have the volume behind the deal. Now, my take is that we're not going to go down that quick. The reason being is that what happens is that when you come down as fast as we did yesterday, folks, it's really hard to get two or three days of those getting together. That being said, I think what you'll see, you'll see weakness coming into the close. You know, bottom line, we're up 16, now you could be flat. The problem is, on a longer-term basis, meaning Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week, is bottom line, you have broken this, this number. And you got juice on the break. So that's another ABC structure down. Uh, and it's a very large ABC structure down. Uh, when we take this, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do it in the, well, i do it, let's see. I'll do it in the next break. That's what I'll do. But it's a, it's, a, it's a big one. That's the bottom line. We take a look at the NQs. NQs right now, they're up 152 points. And we take a look at those NQs. And I suspect those, those are also going to sell off into the close. Um, you know, bottom line, once, once we actually got below the 11,348, right now you're 310. You know, it's just like anything else, man. I mean, the bottom line is that... Um, this thing came down this morning. You had some, uh, actually, the, the, the actually low actually didn't have that much volume. Uh, that being said, though, you can see this bar. We're heading right now for 266. You're at 309. You break 266, and it's just going to flatten out. You know, we'll probably be up 100 uh, NQ points. But I suspect what you're going to see is you're going to see the uh, good old S&P being flat or down slightly. Uh, the dollar. So check this out, folks. So the dollar, you know, yesterday we came down hard from 105.5 to 103.5. Today, you go topside again at 105, and you basically have given it up. Okay, so um, 
when I say giving it up, the high that we've been dealing with is the May 13th high. So we close it underneath it. Now we don't have volume on this. What we do have volume on and what, and what a lot of the Tigers do trade is the UPP, a UUP, one second. Yeah, so, and this one, and Ryan, thanks for the heads up on this. So watch this, folks, okay? Now, I don't, I, I look at this, okay, but I'm certainly not going to make a dollar call on this, okay? Because the bottom line is that compared to a foreign currency, you know, this trades as a dollar index, but, and that's 1.6 million, it, it trades, but the currency markets, folks, are billions and billions of dollars. That being said, uh, if we take a look at this, what you're going to see on the daily basis, right? You know, yesterday you come down with 4.9 and you go up with, uh, you know, 1.6 today and you give it up. That being said, as that Ryan gave me a heads up, though, and guess what? When you put this on a weekly, that is a weekly ABC structure on the way up. <laughs> you blew away the, it's, it's, a, it's a complex one, okay? You got, you got over it, you closed under it, bottom line, that's going to be dangerous because that, you know, 28, that's two and a half off that, and that could get you to 30. And if we take a look at this, that would be saying that, hey, guess what? This dollar is not done going down yet. But, you know, that's, that's a toss-up. That's the bottom line. The dollar has still shown strength. There's no doubt about it. Um, and if that dollar it does go to uh, the, that price point of uh, 121, it's going to be uh, a little bit worse than I think it's at this particular point that I'm set up as how I think this market's going to shake out. And when I say that, it, this ABC down, folks, okay, it all has to do with how my take is we're going there. That being said, that doesn't mean it's the end. Um, it depends how we get there. I do not want to get there like we're getting there right now, meaning you go down, you go sideways a bit, you get down, that is just building energy for lower and lower prices. The only way, not the only way, but percentage-wise, the way that markets turn is that they're relentless and they don't stop. We don't have that, man. We don't have that. Um, it's been a bad market, but there's still too many people that want to buy, buy, buy. And that's, guess what? That is not what markets are made out of. And that's, that is not what bottoms are made out of. That's my point. Dow Industrials right now, that gave it up quick. Oh, my God. That went to negative uh, 17. NASDAQ's up 135. S&P's up 6. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.